Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, the Undead Nightmare? Yes, Undead Nightmare. Had to actually think there for a second. Uh, when we last left off, we were trying to uh, cleanse this little part of the world, and it was going pretty well up until um, getting here. Uh, to the tall trees place. I forget what it's called. So we kind of committed suicide in a rather spectacular fashion if I say so myself in the last episode which was not great. Anyway, right, come on Sparkles. Uh, are we going to take Sparkles? No, let's just go go in here. I want to try these um, these tomahawks because I know you can throw them obviously. But I thought you could use them as melee weapons as well. I'm kind of curious to see how good they are. Um, I, I don't imagine they're going to be fantastic against uh, the undead. But I guess the game's given them to us for a reason. So... Cochini. Okay. Alright. Let's just chop. Hello. Can I... Oh! Now, okay, so, she, I cannot get through the door. The character just controls like a bag of ass. Um, I guess she went down like a sack of shit. So that's good. Whew. Oh, guys. Guys, I think the tomahawk is where it's at. I think the tomahawk is where it's at. It's not completely ideal. Not completely ideal. But it's certainly not bad. Oh, man. I guess we're just severing their spinal cords. Whoa. Okay, okay. Sometimes they take more than one hit. And we can't lock onto them. Because if we lock onto them, uh, John throws a tomahawk. I don't know how hard these things are going to be to get. But man. That worked extremely well. Melee is where it's at. Oh man! <laughs> nice! This is even better than getting high ground and using the rifle. Which I thought was going to be our our winning feat. Hello matey! There we go. Have an axe to your neck. Bolt action rifle. Alright. I do like the idea of a bolt action rifle. Holy crap! Um, maybe, just maybe this uh, tomahawk is overpowered which I'm not going to complain because the undead in this game are no slouch now nah, don't you worry about black water my friend we've uh, saved that it's all good it's all gravy they're now accepting uh, tourists and everything although you may want to take a gun a big one with lots of ammo just in case or failing that take a tomahawk Sniper rifle ammo. So the bolt action rifle. What does that. What does the bolt action rifle replace? Ah. Replaces the repeater. That's unfortunate. Okay. That's fine. Well, this place is pretty much clear. Is there anything else here for us? John Marston. House. It's kind of interesting that it doesn't actually show us the maps. So to speak. It doesn't actually tell us the name of the, um, the location. Okay. Right, well, I guess we are overlooking the elephant in the room here. Let's go save the game. And again, we're literally just sleeping on the ground level here, which really doesn't seem like a smart move uh, in these uncertain, zombie-infested times. But hey, what do we know, right? What do we know? Curious Tales from Blackwater. Alright, where's Sparkles? Oh, it's night time. That's not great. Sparkles, your horse was unable to find you. You must move to a more open area. Oh. Okay, well that's kind of ass. 
Oh, get off the stuff, man. Jesus. Definitely character control is going to be the number one cause of death in this game. Uh, possibly the clunky aiming as well. Clunky aiming I can forgive. Because it's an old game. But the weird character movement I kind of completely forgot about. Your, your character has to do these really drawn out animations. I mean, there's a nice sense of physics to it, but yeah, look at that. It's so hard to actually steer your character around. Never mind. Sadly, uh, I, I definitely um, am not remembering the controls as fond fondly uh, since I played it again. I know at one point, actually, I remember when I was playing Red Dead Redemption, I actually gave up with the game. Um, and I didn't touch it. I, when it first came out, I played it all the way through, I think. Well, I played it about halfway through. And then I got really frustrated with, um, with a few things with the game. And um, I didn't go back to it for about two years. And uh, I had... I think I had some time where there wasn't many games coming out and I thought, you know what, I'll go back to Red Dead Redemption and it was the second time round that I played it that I really, really loved it. Yeah, the first time I actually tried playing it. Ooh, buddy, 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 enough of that. I mean, honestly, who do you guys think you are? Yeah, very difficult to get you. You're Aiming reticle over targets. Very difficult. Okay, now. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go see what all the fuss is about down here. Ooh, this is going to be bad. We're going to have to be quite careful here. We can easily send little sparkles to his death. And poor little sparkles doesn't want to die. He wants to be a faithful steed. For possibly the majority of the game. Unless we get a better horse. Like one of the four apocalyptic horses that I've heard about. I have a rough idea how to get them, I think. They're like in certain areas. I'm certainly going to try and get them all. I'm pretty sure if you're near one, it tells you. And then you've got to hunt it down and break it in. I think. But as I've said, I've only heard uh, ooh, stories about this game. And all these herbs, like, I don't know if there's any point of picking these herbs. I guess we might as well grab them on the way. Another violet snowdrop. Oh, hello. You... Yay! Okay. Alright, I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to be doing with her, but fine. Uh, she kind of looked like a zombie, or she looked like she was just about turning. You know, pale skin and all the rest of it. So we probably did the good, the right thing in aiming a gun at her. However... Ooh, there's a lot of Zeds there. Oh, shit. Shit on a shovel. Oh, my God. The horse controls are quite bad as well. There we go. The horse controls kind of like, um... Wow. Like something that doesn't really want to be commanded, if that makes sense. It's, it's like it's always fighting. Always resisting. But... That kind of makes sense for a horse, I suppose. It is a living animal, after all, with its own uh, thoughts, desires, and feelings. So I can forgive the controls for the horse. But old John Marston, he, uh, he definitely should be a little bit snappier, I think. What a beautiful moonlit... Ride through the forest. 
this lovely winter. It's very picturesque. Serenity, even. Oh dear. Slow down, horse. Slow down. Don't want you getting in the drink. Ah, here we are. Tanner's Reach. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. We've got Zeds. We've got Zeds. I got one, mister. Hey, I got one. Good for you, buddy. The damn Sasquatch. The filthy thing was going to eat my dog. Sasquatch. This girl hollered out. And I shot the thing right through the heart. Bounce like that. Save your bullets, mate. Feeling all right, mister. I've seen a lot of strange things recently, but... No Sasquatch running around here. Nor no Bigfoot. place else. They, they're made up. There's Sasquatches every place, cowboy. They're nastier than your mother-in-law with a bad case of that virus. Oh, hell. Huh. Man's near the post. They ate a little girl. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? The hills are infested with them. Kill them. Kill the bastards before they kill all of us. Kill them. Kill them. All right. I ain't afraid of you, you dumb hairy bastard. <laughs> Fighting Sasquatch. He's just like wasting all of his ammo. I hope he's got a big stockpile. Kill six Sasquatches. Uh, okay. I have no idea how tough Sasquatches are. Still, I guess we're about to find out. Right, come on you big hairy flea bags. Where are you? Beware the hand of man. Ooh. That is not great. Really don't want to see wolves running around. At least... Oh, it's a coyote. Those coyotes are... Pretty nasty. So, Sasquatches, huh? Hmm. Now, this is hunting a dangerous game indeed. Do we need to use bait or anything? I don't know. Now, where exactly is Tall Trees? Oh. Oh, we need to go back up there. Okay. So the actual area with the Sasquatches looks like it's going to be pretty small. That could be bad if we don't have a lot of room to maneuver. Especially as light is not on our side either. But it's alright, John. We've encountered nasty things in our past. This is going to be no different. I think. Maybe. Sure as shit can't see any. You must be dreaming. Have you just seen one? John, you gotta call him if you see him, buddy. You can't just say, I must be dreaming. There's supposed to be a team here, okay? That's not how teamwork works, my friend. Oh, shit. Whoa, missed. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Load the fucking gun, John. John, you're useless. John, that was pathetic. Really shouldn't take you six years to reload that rifle. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. This is going to get worse before it gets better. Oh, God. There's lots of them. Sparkles, where are you, boy? Ah, oh, crap. Fuck you. One down. Um, Stop getting stuck on everything. Okay. Okay, that was bad. That was really bad. Load checkpoint. Ah, oh, your nearest bed. Fuck that. We start the town. I do remember now how, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure actually one of the reasons I stopped playing this was just how ridiculous um, some of the wildlife was, like the cougars. Where are we now? Oh, 
Oh, that's not too bad, I guess. Could be worse. Sparkles. Where's Sparkles? Ooh. Ooh, they're fighting dogs. Wild dogs. Ah, oh, shit. What the hell is that? Wild boar. Zombie boar. Holy crap. That's a little bit serious. Yeah. Yeah, the wildlife was freaking vicious, as you can see. Especially with the starting weapons, I remember. You almost, like, if you're just, if you're not on a horse and you're just traveling through the wilderness, you have very, very, very little chance of surviving. Which I suppose added to the realism of the game. But what really, really uh, annoyed me, I remember, was every time you died, the game would send you so far back. Like sometimes halfway across the map. I remember that. It's all coming back to me now. Actually, I'll be 100% honest, I forgot about the wildlife. I forgot that you could go hunting. It was quite a cool little thing. Because you could sell the pelts and all. Okay, hopefully we ain't going to come across any dogs. I'm reckoning Sasquatch is going to be a pain in the ass, And hopefully we're not going to become another dog's dinner. Really don't want to end up as a tightly coiled package on the floor of this place. Oh, we're still not where we need to be. There we go. Come on. Let's just cut through the woods. Whoa there. there we go. Right. Sparkles, if you could just set up here for me, buddy. I'll be eternally grateful. Nah, if I was a filthy Sasquatch, where would I be? I think think we're going to hunt with a rolling block rifle. I can't see any of the buggers. We need to kill six. Oof, what's that? That's an undead boar. Oh, how? Crap. Where'd you come from, buddy? Oh, and we've got no ammo for it either. Well, when hunting boar, I recommend packing a shotgun. And there we go. That's the ticket. Can we skin these guys? We can search them. Undead boar tusks. Okay. Well, what do we do with those? And eyes. Surely there's somewhere we can sell this stuff. Right, we're going to keep our shotgun handy, I think. Now, apparently... That guy said this place was crawling with Sasquatch. Ooh. That's another boar. I guess we go hunt as a boar. Hey, pal. Yeah, well, he ain't poor or sick anymore, is he? He's dead. Ah, look, there's boars everywhere. That's a bear. Okay, that bear went down. Oh, shit. The bear went down. Re what the fuck, John? You just broke every bone in your body. And I think we're about to be dead. Run through the trees. Run through the trees, John! The trees! Confuse the... Oh, there's a Sasquatch. Fuck you, boar. Literally have no time for your bullshit right now. Although we should be harvesting these guys. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Now, where was that Sasquatch? It's up by our horse. There he is. Then don't think about it, John. We got bear teeth. 
Yeah. There's Mr. Sasquatch. Right, let's light him up with the rolling block. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's try and headshot this bastard. Okay, I don't know what that did. I don't know if we just straight up missed or... Didn't even see a bullet, to be honest. There, we saw a bullet there. Accuracy. It's not my forte. Oh, there we go. Oh, six years in the making. Okay, we don't... Oh, God. God, John, run. Bloody boars, honestly. Okay, they're not too bad. If you can keep your wits about you. So what does Sasquatch give us? Wherever the hell he was. Almost a shame to put such a noble creature down, to be honest. Almost. Now, where's the next one? Oh. Hello. Uh, uh, yes. Whoa! What? What the fuck, John? Um, these triggers are pretty sensitive. Is, yeah, I'm actually genuinely sorry about that. I came down with a touch of the crazies. Yes, yes. Also, no, I can't take you. Oh! Fucking hell. Hey, guys. Well, hopefully they're going to stay dead, John. That's kind of the plan. Where the hell are you guys coming from? Is this just because I killed that woman? I mean, come on. That was a slip of the button. I mean, technically, for John Marston here, that would have been a lot more than a slip of the button. You know, he had to place the shotgun under her chin and everything and pull the trigger so John you've got some dark secrets buddy you have some seriously dark secrets I don't think I want to know you anymore John murdering women like that come on oh god damn seriously Without Deadeye, I'm telling you, Sniper Rifle is not a functioning weapon in this game. We definitely need mouse and keyboard support for this. Oh, I think it's because he's always taking the piss out of Seth, wasn't he? Oh, he hit both of them. I guess there's the advantage with the shotgun. Are we even still in the Sasquatch place? Because this place... No, we're not. No, we're not. Okay, so I guess this continuously moves. You have to fight like one Sasquatch and then the next. Man, I can't believe we killed that woman. <sighs> oh, there's a Sasquatch. So we took his eye, and his teeth, and his heart. Sasquatch hearts, plus one. Plus one heart. I can hear dogs. What we really would be beneficial to find would be some more revolver ammo. Not that our revolver's actually that good, but still, it has its uses. Almost there. Now, if I was a Sasquatch, where would I be? Who? Who are you, Mr. Horse? He's just a normal horse, I think. Right, so somewhere here is our Sasquatch. 
Although the map should change colour when we get there. There we go. Right. Eyes to the trees, my friend. Eyes to the trees. The pro one one issue that I have noticed actually. It's because the game's so res low resolution, you can't really see a lot off into the distance. There he is! Not that that has actually made any difference, because he's right there. Did he go down? No, he didn't. Right in the ass. Luckily, we don't have to hit these guys in the head. That would have been quite awkward if we did. Any gifts from the other side? Ooh, ooh, what's blue? Something over here is blue. Mythical creature? <gasps> Shit, guys! Shit, right, where's our horse? Let's have a go at catching this guy. Right. Oh, no, he's gone. Bollocks. So where was this on the map? So note to self, around here, mythical creature does appear. Not sure exactly which one it was. And we're definitely going to need us a mythical horse. Because apparently mythical horses have like unlimited stamina as well, which is really quite nice. I definitely thought these Sasquatches were going to put up a little bit more of a fight. But then I guess they're zombie Sasquatches. Uh oh. Coyotes. Coyotes. That is really not good. Probably the best thing that we have for these is the repeater. Because there's lots of them. It's usually like three or four, I think. Bloody hell, where are they? Oh, there might even be more than that. I think there might be five. Sons of bitches. Right, Sparkles. Keep an eye on me, Mr. Sparkles. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking these coyotes. Really need to find our Sasquatch and get the fuck out of here. Where the hell is he? Ooh. Nope, that's a tree. Oh, Mr. Sasquatch. Oh, shit. Bloody coyote bastard. Oh, I say that. I've only got two shots for the repeater. Right, that's going to call them all over to us, I believe. Which is not good. Or sometimes, actually. I'm pretty sure... Ah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's Mr. Sasquatch. Don't run from me now, buddy. <laughs> Sent him flying. Sorry, bud. It's just the way it had to be. Can we search your body, please? Thank you. Don't think he's going to spit on us. He's, he's dead. All right, let's grab the coyote teeth. Alright, that'll do. Right, so where's the next one? Ooh. Damn, he's quite far out. I'm glad we've got loads of shotgun cartridges, because otherwise we'd be in serious trouble. Having, like, no munitions at all. So, small mercies and all that. Damn it, I can't believe we let that horse get away. But I guess at the same time... At least we know where one appears. Uh, that's not good. We need to get off it. 
Right, don't die now, Mr. Sparkles. If you die, we are in serious trouble. Sparkles! Listen to me, listen to me, Sparkles. Ooh. So it says a woman down there, but that, of course, will be a zombie. I really wish they added zombies to GTA 5. That would have been so good. I think it would have really worked. They did find those files uh, in the game's code. Well done, Sparkles. Well done for not dying. You made me proud. Right, okay. So the Sasquatches don't appear to be threatening. They just go about their business and let you murder them. Which is jolly nice of the fellows. And I can certainly appreciate that kind of dedication to the cause. But I did think they might be quite the rough customers. Should we say. Right. You stay there, Sparkles. We don't want to alert this guy. Yeah, one shotgun... There he is. Blast seems to be just about what the doctor ordered for these guys. Yep, one shotgun blast. Oh no, he's getting up. Okay, cool. Two more. Hey, Sparkles is following us. That's cute. Can we just, can we actually like loot this body? The looting mechanic was always buggy to hell. There we go. I might look up what we do with all these parts from the animals. All these hunting parts. Let's see what they give us. Now, where next? Oh. Similar place. So there was two around here. Were they mating? This is, ah, there he is. No, that's a zombie. was a zombie. Oh, fucking hell. Where are you guys coming from? Where the... Cheese. Seriously, John, are you trying to die? Because if you are... Whoa, what the fuck was that about? There we go. That works. That works so, satisfac so satisfyingly well. Supremely well, in fact. Oh, God. Alright, come on, come on. Um, John? John, attack, maybe? Not attacking? Okay, it works well until it doesn't. Okay, that worked. John, John, axe, murder these guys. Uh, their mother obviously did not teach them this, John. That is why they're trying to eat our head. Oh, my, oh, fuck this. What the fuck, man? Seriously? So note to self, when you find a pocket of zombies, they will just continuously and unlimitedly spawn, I guess. Whoa, look at them all. We really don't have a lot of shotgun shells. What do we have? A rolling lock ammo, but... That's not exactly going to help us out too much here. See if we can thin the herd somewhat. It's also extremely hard to run around these trees. Because more often than not, he just runs into the trees and then comes to a complete stop. Ah, oh. Really? That should have gone straight through your arm. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Who's next? Once we've thinned enough of them out, we can go back to the tomahawk. Ooh, hell, you're close. Yeah, we need the tomahawk now. Now, the tomahawk is a hard weapon to use as well, because you have to be facing the enemy to use it. 
and it is very hard to actually look at an enemy in this game. Ooh, but when it does work, it is excellent. Hey, buddy, come to Papa. Papa needs your skin. Don't ask why. It is a cruel world. But Papa demands your skin. One more Sasquatch. Uh, I don't think so. I don't remember Sasquatches from the first game. I don't think, anyway. They may have been in there. Although, not that it's really the first game, more the, the actual main campaign. Come here, love. There we go. Right, hopefully some of you guys have got ammo. Because we really could use it. Yes, revolver ammo. Nice. Just what we wanted. What have you got for me, buddy? I'll take that. Lovely. Oh, Tomahawk. Not bad. Cool. Okay, so that kind of works. If you aim, he kind of looks at them. But then turns around as soon as you let go of the trigger. And you can't push the trigger whilst you're looking at them because he will throw the weapon. It is a delicate balance with this thing. Oh. Oh man, that's hot. You know what? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's not worth the effort of putting a waypoint down. Right. So, what do we have down here? Ooh. Ah. Is he the last one? Shoot me, human. Shoot me. Oh, I will, you foul creature of the night. I don't think he is. Why is that? Keep you from eating more babies? In the name of all the traits, what are you talking about, human? You eat babies. You have to to survive. Everyone knows that. Ain't your fault. We eat berries and mushrooms, you fool. No. Oh. We did. Now none of us are left. Some maniac's been murdering us. The last of my kind. We've lived in these hills a thousand years. You eat babies. If you say so, human. My family is gone. My kind is gone. Well, that's harsh. Shoot me. I can't take it anymore. Make it stop. Wow. <laughs> Aren't we a bit of a monster? Oh man. Well, let's put him out of his misery. What? Am I doing? what? It's supposed to be. Shut him straight in the brain. I'm sorry, my friend, but that's what you wanted. I provided the service that you asked for. Now, if we go to Journal, Challenges, Headshot 10 Undead in a row. That's probably not going to be that hard if we use um, some kind of pistol, I guess. We've got to find the 25 bolters. Okay. Right, bloody hell, we're on almost 40 minutes, guys. That's the trouble. This game's too much fun. You don't want to stop playing it. Right, okay. Carl Sparkles, let's get out of here. We have committed genocide. We have done what humans do best. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's return to a city. 
or a settlement. Oh, hello, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, zombies! Oh my! Right, you and you. Now, what do I get in return, my dear? I can never thank you enough. Uh, you can by giving me some bullets. Oh, we got repeater ammo. Not too shabby. Definitely worth doing. Although, I can't help but wonder what we would have got if we took that woman back to safety. Uh, maybe we should take her back to safety. Or maybe. Just maybe. Sorry about this. We can leave her here. There we go. You're a sacrifice. You're going to be a sacrifice to the Sasquatch. I'm sorry, love, but that's... Oh, we could actually technically take her back. We can carry her. Yeah, you know what? I guess this is... You can hog tie a zombie, really? I guess that makes sense. We did two of them before. Sparkles! Right, I am rescuing you, ma'am. Whether you want to be rescued or not, you're coming back to a settlement with me. Yeah, I know, it seems a little bit uh, a little bit unsettling. But you will thank me later. Just try not to fall off. Because if you fall off, you die. And if we get a huge load of zombies chasing us, we can always kick her off the back. She'll be like a flare to a heat-seeking missile. Uh, how do we get out of here? That is a question that I'm not sure I have an answer to. Okay, that kind of works. Yeah. To a point. Oh, mountain goats. Sturdy as a mountain goat. There we go. Actually, that town will do. Come with me, my dear. You'll be safe for an eternity. Or at least until the next wave of the, the undead come crashing down. But who knows when that might be? You might live for a, for a week. You might live for a month. You might already be infected. So, yeah. In that case, that's not my problem. Okay. And we can leave her here. Now, this is what you call a forced rescue, I think. This is actually a really bad place. Because you wouldn't be able to escape. Now. You can carry the victim. Uh, like. No, that's jump. Carry victim, please. Thank you. Right. So we can, we can drop her. You know what? She can have this tent. There you go. Brand new tent and everything. Just for you. Uh, we can't actually cut you free, sadly, but uh, I'm sure one of the other people around here will, will do that for us, yes. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have. Hunting Sasquatch is fun. Very fun. Although I do feel a little bit bad that we've exterminated the lot, but eh, they shouldn't have been there. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.